guys welcome back so today i'm gonna show you how to play bring me the horizon by drown uh it's played without a capo but it's actually not in the standard tuning uh we're just going in alter tuning and uh we are actually in a whole step back we're doing a whole step down tuning which means uh, we have the high e string as the d uh, the top e string as the d the a as the G and that's how it actually goes so make sure to get a tuner and just tune every stuff to a whole step down and make sure to do that if you just want to play exactly like the acoustic version otherwise you got to play uh, some star tuning but with some G major and all chord shapes I watched the video the guy was just playing the guitar and you can actually see him what all chords he, he was actually using and I also see another guitarist he just strung some other chord shapes and all uh, which I'm gonna break down for you but for that get into the tuning make sure to tune everything down to a drop I mean whole step down so now let's talk about the strings we have the top E string as the D string right now in the video just to avoid all the confusion I just wanna say it has the E A D what I actually normally refer to but the E string is now a D uh, the A string is a G C D E F G then you have the D string so it will be a C so this is a C then we have this is this as the E sorry F I'm sorry F and this one we have is the A and back to D so we have C D E C D C D E F G C D E F G sorry C and then we have C D E F G uh, back to uh, before we come C D E F then we have C D E F G A and that's how so make sure you tune the stuff now let me show you the chords first uh, the first chord is uh, A sus 2 and it's likely the same chord shape which goes throughout we just gonna alternate between the root note or the bass note of the chord so we are not using a middle finger for the song we're just using our index on the second fret of the d string then i put my pinky on the fourth fret of the g and you keep your high e and the b string open and the a string is open so it comes to be a a sus 2 chord then we have a G sharp minor chord over here. It's, it's more of like a G, uh, E major with a G sharp, not a minor chord. It's a major chord. I just told it by mistake. It's a major chord. It's a G sharp major with E. So we have the fourth fret on the E string. So now I use my ring finger to hit that fourth fret of the E string. The A string is muted with that ring finger, and it's the same thing again. Second, four, open, open. And then you come to a C sharp minor chord uh, over here we have fourth fret on the A so you just change the bass note now the top E string is muted so four two four open open so I won't say this is hard this is actually a lot easy because we have the same chord progression just going throughout the whole song but the only thing which matters a lot is the tuning stop it just goes down a whole step yeah so the chord progression will be A sus 2 Again A sus 2, then a G sharp or E over a G sharp and then a C sharp minor. So chord shapes are really easy and the string pattern is quite a little bit tricky. It actually goes like this. So we have down, down, up mute, chicky chicky, down. Down, down, up. I keep my hand on the string to get the sound of the chord meter. This string pattern is quite tricky because it's not hard but it's like moving fast. This after that mute we have down up down up. So down 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 down. So down down up it. Down up down. So we have down down up it. So down down down. string pattern 
So you do that twice on that A sus2 chord. G sharp. G sharp. A sus2. G sharp. Well, the important tip is always to keep your hand moving while strumming. Like you go, chiki 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 chiki. Don't stop for a while. It actually helps you a lot when you're singing while strumming. So we have. And you see, whenever I'm not even strumming, but still I'm actually moving my hand. That's the reason. Make sure to highlight the bass notes a lot since that's the most important aspect of the song. So we got. do that. Uh, now the second guy playing the guitar was just playing some chords like this. A normal A sus2 chord, then uh, E over a G sharp chord which he played like this, open E string, fourth fret on the A, second fret on the D, first fret on the G, open high E, open B. It's a little bit stretchy. And you even play the C sharp minor chord like this. So. That's what you can do as a second guitar guy. If you have another friend, you can just ask him to play this part. Some easy chord shapes, the same chords, but he just plays it in a different style. He's too in that alternate tuning. Alright, so another strength pattern which we use uh, on the chord shape I showed you before is down, up, down, up, up, down. And you can just do that again. For once on each chord, so A sus2, A sus2, C sharp, C sharp. I guess that's basically everything for the song. If you have children, make sure to drop one of these. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe my channel. And what else? Drop a comment down below. I'll see you guys back in the next video. To then bye.